Okay, welcome. Welcome to. Uh, oh, are we rolling? We're recording. Yeah, we're we're gonna start. <laughs> we're just gonna jump in. I don't so, really, like. I gotta get used to it. We got some good bloopers. Uh, this guy already. Right? I don't even you think we need recording? to do any more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can't use it. Okay. Yeah, you can. You I don't sign off on it. Okay. <laughs> I'll send it to you first. Okay. Okay, so welcome to the first ever Radcliffe Team Team Talk. Team Talk by Radcliffe Team. Uh, here we are. Today we're going to talk about what the word authentic means to us. So, um, Samir, you want to start? What does that mean to you, man? What, what do you think when uh, you hear the word authentic? Well, Mitch, um, I think uh, the word authentic could... Uh, mean a lot of things nowadays but uh and depending on what area of your life you're talking about but um to sum it up i think authentic just means you being genuine and true to what you do uh true to your values as a human being and i think that's most important but uh, it can branch into so many things at the same time but to sum it up i think it means true and genuine i think for me cool that's awesome um yeah, definitely. It depends what you're you're talking about. Like I, my head goes straight to like brands that I like. Like um, like I love Vans shoes. Mm -hmm. They're just like the best. They've always been the best to me. They've been never really wear out, and I always like what they look like. What's so wrong that's with where Nikes? My head goes. Why don't you like Nikes? Mm. <laughs> They're okay. <laughs> You know, but I hear that people are scared to crease them. Yeah, you know, so. it is a true thing. And when you are afraid, you walk like a duck. Yeah. Well, what do you have to say about that, Judy? <laughs> what does authentic mean to you? Um, I would have to agree with Samir. Not that I'm stealing what Samir is saying, but it's just being true to yourself and believing in what you believe in. And yeah, I think cool. that's it. Mike, you got anything um, to add? <laughs> well, I agree with both of them. I think authentic is just being true to yourself. And I think, like, as we said here, um, the people that you see when you go to a listing or you go out with buyers, that that's, you know, what you see is, is what you see there. So you're authentic in the way that, you know, it, it's a pure example of who you are. You're, you're the same everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. So you're not yeah. putting on a show for anybody. You're not putting on some major filters or you're not yeah. doing anything. You know, <laughs> this this is who I am. You know, I didn't get all dolled up or dressed up because right. this is literally who you would see around town, right? So yeah. that, that's authentic to me. Cue the, I totally thought you the, dressed the up. Sparkles. Yeah, yeah, sparkles. <laughs> some bubbles, yeah. Cool. Um, so one other thing that I wanted to talk about today was just what you guys think the benefits of using a, a real estate team are compared to, you know, just using a realtor who just does everything. And start again, Samir. Um, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, a, a big portion of it, I, I think, uh, that just comes right off the bat, like right off the bat. I think it's, you know, having a whole team for the price of one, and not just the whole team, but you get the the office support and the office backup for clients um, and we all collaborate on every single deal that we do so somebody that has an idea the rest of the team will validate that idea to make sure that we're set up for success yeah nice um, and the fact that you know the flexibility part of it especially with buyers nowadays um, you can only be in one place at you know uh, one place at a time but if you have a lot of buyers that want to go and see houses and you're not available to show them then somebody else on the team can actually go and take a, take care of that for you right that's nice so yeah flexibility availability and uh, price affordability as well cool what about you mike yeah i mean i would agree you're you're getting all of it for the same price right yeah i mean if we were allowed to advertise price sort of thing but um it's nice to like Tuesdays we have meetings that if you're having an issue or something you're able to actually you totally stole my idea uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're able to like bounce it off somebody else and get a feeling of what you know if you're stuck um, yeah. and you're, you're in a rut like right now we're in a hot market but we're not always going to be in a hot market so it's nice mm -hmm. to have ideas to bounce around everybody is honestly like if I have a, a listing that my name's on everybody's invested in that yeah. listing on this team so they want to see that do well so I mean we've got a great team we've got like a great admin here mm -hmm. so you know it, it's a nice little family that we have and yeah. it feels like it so it's good yeah 
I agree. Jody, well, what I do have you nothing because they already said it. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree with the whole team um, being able to bounce ideas off of each other, pricing, even when we're throwing an offer in for buyers, just to be able to talk about prices with each other and. Um, what should I go in at? Um, it's great because there's six of us and then plus all of our admin in the background helping us out. Um, Tuesday morning meetings, they're great because we talk about every single listing we have come up, any problems we have, we're able to just figure it out with all of us. Yeah, cool. There's also the benefit of if one of us has a listing and we have a buyer, um, we're able to get in quicker we're able to show that property yeah. um, before it hits the market, which True. is nice for a lot of our buyers and yeah. sellers. And sellers, because I, I, I think in, a, in that kind of scenario, you they tend to save money um, because we're representing both sides of the deal as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I see that too. I, I think from my perspective on everything, it's just kind of cool to see what we're building because obviously, well, for anyone who's watching and doesn't know, um, I'm Mike Radcliffe's son. So I've watched him kind of do his thing all the way up to where we are now, where we have the team. And this has been different in the last few years. So um, it's cool, like from my view, like we are actually feeling like a family now, you know, and like we're, we're building something special here. And the goal is to be able to serve um, the clients the best that we can and so it's cool to actually watch it in action and from me kind of be, just being like an artsy fartsy kid uh, <laughs> seeing um, seeing the value that that I know that we're able to give to everyone is is sweet so yeah that's it unless anyone else wants to share last thoughts uh, Mike's gonna rap one more time I think no, no, no. oh Mike's yeah. gonna yeah. rap yeah. <laughs> love to hear that. he's Come gonna on. close this out <laughs> No boy. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this little episode, and we are going to bring you more of these coming up soon in the future. So check back to our website, check out our Facebook, check out our Instagram, anywhere you can find us, go find us, and uh, we'll be there. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.